I don't know what to do for an intro. <laughs> All right, so I just thought of this, but I have this candy. I don't know if you can see it. Look at the candy, look at the candy. Look at the candy. Why am I saying it's candy? Okay, it's actually not candy. Here we go. Okay, so it's black sesame brittle, which is not candy, and it's from Myanmar. I actually don't really know what it is, but it's been sitting here for a long time. So for my intro, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat it and no. Oh. <laughs> it's this. <laughs> it smells like I don't know, stale nuts or something? I don't know, like peanuts almost? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, look at the brittle. Look at the brittle. Yeah. See? I'm just... Can you hear that? Oh! It tastes like... Mmm. Oh. What it tastes like? Mmm. You know when you are going trick-or-treating and you get that one, like, really bomb house and they have, like, the the um, popcorn balls that they give you. It tastes like that. And then it tastes like sesame. Wow, that was pretty good. wrapping up here and so I wanted to make an update video about May, June, and so far what's happened in July to let you know as things come to a close. Starting off actually is something that happened in the last part of April but I got to go to a wedding, a Kamai wedding, and it was very cool. So I got to go with Katie Elena, my site partner, and she works in food technology. They're usually like post high school students and uh, they're learning about like food and service industry stuff like that and anyways one of the teachers got married and so I got to accompany her and we went together it was really fun um, all of us teachers and stuff we got ready after school together and then Katie and I actually accompanied so Kuhn, she's not a teacher she is the cook for the sisters and we love talking with her and we hang out with her um, every day pretty much um, at the gate when uh, we're waiting to go home but point is we got to go with her and she, we did a pit stop at her house to get her dress on and little Hong her daughter came too and then we got to go to the wedding together it was awesome I've heard a lot about weddings but going to one was amazing basically the ceremony is not very long but it's only for like like friends and family but then they have like all these extra celebrations and things like that so it can be one to three days apparently it used to always be three days but now it's like one and a half days or something like that it really was like a crazy party they set up these tents and we've actually seen them around everywhere you'll be you know in the tuk tuk on the road and you'll see you know these tents set up outside of like a business or a home or something like that and that's what they do so they come and they set up this long tent in the street like outside your house or your parents house or something and they have like these big circle tables and basically your guests as they come in um i think if you get there early enough the bride and groom greet you but we were a little late <laughs> i'm not sure uh so anyways but you come in and as you come in people will just come whenever and you sit at like this round table and they just fill it with whoever comes in around the same time as you and as soon as you sit down they start bringing out like different courses kind of and they just fill this like lazy susan in front of you and you just eat family style and as soon as like you finish eating something more stuff comes i think there was like three or four rounds i don't know it was amazing and it was so fun to try all the food and they have drinks at the table and like eater service also have like a stage and there's performers to see like the bride and groom walking around so we got to see the bride and groom twice and they wear different outfits so i think maybe a norm is like they change six to eight times i don't know i've seen a few wedding scrapbooks and there is a they have so many different outfits that they wear i'm not sure all the traditions behind it but it really is fun so uh the first outfit we saw her in was like a traditional outfit but then they also had like a white like you know european style uh, dress so that was really cool. And it was really fun. I got to talk and meet the people that were at our table. I enjoyed that. We got to dance a little bit, had great food. You notice the dress I chose. Katie and I went out shopping and she got more of like a modern style Kamai dress and I got more of a, a traditional style Kamai dress. So the, um, I forget what it's called, but like that waistline where it like flares out a little bit and then like the sleeves and like that sort of neckline is very common here. Like you'll, I don't know, I, you've seen it around a lot and just like the material and everything. So I was really excited, we went to the market. I tried on a few different dresses and it was, you know, fun shopping around.
I had fun choosing this one and when I chose it the woman <laughs> you could see she got a little handsy with the, the bra pad <laughs> it was really uh, it was a great experience all around wonderful so I have these like tailor like seamstresses just kind of plotted around throughout the uh, market so I literally like went over to one like as soon as I bought the dress and they just kind of like put it on you and like literally the woman just kind of like looks at you and like eyeballs it and then like takes it off puts it in her sewing machine like right away and like tailors it down to fit you and so it was a nerve-wracking experience because <laughs> I was like what if she messes up this is not <laughs> organized <laughs> like I'm used to but it turned out to fit great it was a little tight <laughs> I could have um <laughs> had her a little looser but i think that's also the style one of the first things that happened in may was one of the past volunteers from last year she came back to visit and she had her mom with her and so they stayed here while they were sightseeing and everything for about a week and i really enjoyed talking with her and just sharing experiences she taught kindergarten so very different but it was just nice to have that time to relate to someone and i actually got to accompany her and her mom out on a like a day trip to Udong Mountain. It's about an hour outside of Phnom Penh and it was a really pretty temple. It was really nice being out together and we actually had some street food and that was the first time I got sick, like real sick from it, like out for a whole day. <laughs> and it was my mistake. I kind of knew I got this drink. It's like a cane sugar drink and usually it was early morning and like took it out of a bucket and I was like, usually they like put it through like a grinder um, or the squisher that's not squisher a thing you know that squeeze it down um right away and then they take that and give it to you but it was like sitting there already and she took it and since it was so early i don't think like anyone else had bought it yet so that's my hypothesis of why we got sick and when i say we because myself and bella got really sick and she had to get on a flight the next day so as miserable as i was i was definitely praying for her but a trip i did not get sick on was when i accompanied 11th grade on their field trip to anchor Wat. Anchor Wat was great because of all the history and likewise the next event that happened we got to go to a genocide mass offered for all the genocide victims specifically some of the Catholic martyrs during the time of the Khmer Rouge which was it only happened about 30 years ago it's a really important part of what makes Cambodia Cambodia today. There was a war and there was a genocidal regime that took over. A fourth of the population was killed as rippled effects into what is going on now. And you can see the country really trying to surge up and develop themselves. And that's something also my students talk about a lot too, is like the development of their country. The mass was held a few hours away, so I got to go with some of the boarding students here on a bus. And it was a nice time on the bus and again, people here dance and karaoke on the bus and I gotta sing karaoke too in English okay, so it was nice being with the students and it was nice having the time at the mass to pray for all the victims and also the Catholic martyrs as well as just have a time to reflect and understand a little bit more the importance of uh, history of the country on May 24th we celebrated Mary help of Christians feast day which feast day just means a day where all the Catholics party in celebration of something. And Mary Hope of Christians, specifically the Salesians, celebrate because she is like the patronage, patronage, patronness, <laughs> the person who helps <laughs> and supports um, Don Bosco and the mission of all the Salesians. Don Bosco is the priest that started the Salesians and the Salesians are the religious order all around the world. We celebrate her and just how she has helped in the mission. The school actually had a special ceremony where students, if they wanted to, they could purchase a rose, bring it up to Statue of Mary, and just as symbol, uh, the beautiful things and the things that they are doing in honor of Mary and also asking Mary to help them with something obtain a grace for them of course you know her going through Jesus and blessing the students and you know anyone who asked that way it is a Catholic run school but most of the students are Buddhist maybe have no religion but some students are also Catholic no matter what their background is many of them still are very open to a relationship with Mary and very open to you know God also every morning we say a Hail Mary but the sisters stress that you know if you're gonna be a Buddhist be a good Buddhist. If you're gonna be a Catholic, be a good Catholic. Like overall, be a good person, have good morals, and be a good citizen. And so it's like the overarching theme. And then, you know, because it is a Catholic run school, they also offer and say, well, like, you know, if we have a problem, we pray to Mary. And so many of the students, I find that they're very open to a relationship with God, but specifically Mary. She's just like a really warm, sort of loving guide. The students and the staff, they just seem really well connected to her here. It was a nice feast day. Oh, another thing that was fun that happened was there was a youth 
CAM for grade 11 and 12 and it was students from our school but also students from the other Salesian schools and it was an overnight camp it was two days and it was just about kind of looking at your life and how to make good decisions moving into the future. I had like a theme song dance kind of thing and so I got somehow I was like the leader of it <laughs> and so I wasn't like participating in the youth camp but I would just come and like dance and like go and do my thing and like come back and dance again and it was really fun at first it was like trying to get everyone to do it but then it turned into like a little bit of a jam at the end and um, it was a really fun moment at the like the very last in the evening of the youth camp um, like everyone was doing it and it was just it was a really fun like the atmosphere was warm and funny and like everyone was like oh the song again but it's the last time so everyone was like really out of involved and it was, it was fun to do it and I got to go on stage and then they also had like early morning exercise and so I got to lead like a dance that one early morning too and um oh and I had some students to open the program I taught them a dance and I got to dance on stage with them just as like a fun opener to like kick off the youth camp so that was a really fun experience too just a little thing but uh worth mentioning this is a side note those are all the major events for May that was all the major events for May I was looking through pictures to try and find what to talk about I saw a bunch of pictures of like people's hair that I've braided so in case you've wondered like you know Katie you used to braid hair all the time do you do that here yes I do it here not as much as I like probably could or want to but I do and so here's some pictures of hair I've done with the girls or on Katie I'm really inspired by the hair here like they do different braids than I've seen before like do it in a different way So I'm gonna come back with some great ideas <laughs> Another really funny thing is this ice cream that was in the shape of a fish Had it as a special celebration for sister Jessica who is the like the head sister in charge of Cambodia and Myanmar And so we had this you know celebration anyways and it's just so funny with the fish like the fish are everywhere and it was first off it was delicious and really good but then there was another fish just like this week at breakfast it was from i think vietnam maybe and but it's like shaped like a fish it looks like a fish but it has like pork and egg inside i don't know what it is man but it's just really funny <laughs> And also enjoy this picture of a family group chat from my brother's birthday that happened in May. So happy birthday! <laughs>didn't time manage very well when I made the video and I talked way too long so anyways keep a lookout for the anchor watt video and then also I'll post something about June and July